Hey everybody, Josh here of Scrapyard Films. Today I'm going to be giving you another Magix Vegas Pro 16 tutorial, and this one is how to use the composite tool. Now this one's pretty cool. It lets you automate your video to fade in and out at certain points and levels, and you could even use a custom draw tool to get it exactly how you want. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I dragged in a clip right here, and if you want to go to your video track on the left, if you right click it, you can go up to insert remove envelope, hit composite level, and this purple bar appears. Now this purple bar is your composite tool. You can drag it all the way up and down and see your video disappear and reappear. Now if you have another video track under this one, the one under it is going to be showing through. So I'll give you an example. So like this one. If we start dragging the composite level down of a video that's on top of another video, you're going to see the video under it. Does that make sense? So we're not going to use that right now. We're just going to stick with the one video. There's a couple ways to use composite levels. The first way is the most common and easy way, is you can click on this bar, you can right click and add a point, and then right click and add another point, and drag one of them down or up. So I'm gonna drag this one down, and you see that we just made the video fade down. Now when you're in here, you can actually right click and tell it what kind of fade you want. A linear fade is a straight line. It's just gonna go straight to black. The next one you can do is a fast fade, which means it's going to quickly get dark but slowly finish out to wherever you put it at. Then you can do a slow fade, which is the opposite of that. It's going to slowly start off to fade and then it's going to quickly finish off. Then you could do the smooth fade, which let's bring that over here a little bit more. So you'll see that it starts off a little slow, then kind of speeds up in the middle, and then finishes off a little bit slow. And then you got your sharp fade, which is, it's going to start fading immediately really fast, then slow down immensely, and then continue fading towards the end. Those are the five different types of fades you can use when you're in composite levels. So by default, it has it on smooth fade. Now, if you don't want to right-click and add these keyframes, another way you could do it is by double-clicking on the purple line. When you double-click on the purple line, it adds more keyframes automatically. Now, one cool thing is you don't actually have to drag keyframes individually you can actually drag bars that are connecting keyframes and it'll bring up that whole section. So that's another cool thing too. Now the final cool thing about keyframes is that if you hold shift and put your cursor over the composite level you can draw what you want your keyframes to do. And when you let go of your click it'll make your keyframes just how you drew it. So that's another cool thing. Creatively, if you wanted to draw your composite level, you can do that by holding shift. And that pretty much wraps up this video. And if this video helped you out, you can help me out by liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Those four ways, if you do all four of those to our videos, they jump up in the list and it helps us become noticed so we can produce more videos for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.